Hey everyone. Okay, so I am in my house. It's very echoey, especially in the bathroom. So there you go, but I'm here. We are moving in and I wanna give you guys an update of the final product of the house. Um, in this video, I'm gonna be doing, I'm gonna be showing you the standard picks versus the upgraded options that we chose for some of our stuff. Um, so I'll kind of give you a tour around the house and show you some things, but mainly where the upgrades were, what we chose, we spent the money in the kitchen um, and not much anywhere else. So yes, I'll be walking around, but there's only like a couple things that I wanna show you guys and then the rest is in the kitchen. So, all right, turning you guys around and showing you my house, okay, okay. All right, so I'm in the master bathroom. Um, this is all standard. The shower, the shower head. Um, we didn't do an upgrade on the, the shower head or or this, the, the shower. The up, they had an option to do a tub here with a shower or the shower like this and then a separate tub. I think maybe it was gonna be over here. I think, or maybe no, over here. I don't know, one of those, but we didn't do that. We just went with the standard, regular schmegular, no bathtub shower, that was standard. Um, this is standard, this countertop here, which isn't too bad. It's just like white, but it's not that weird, like white subway tile. So that's good. Um, this is standard Chrome. We didn't do upgrades on this to save money. This is standard it going up like this. You have an option to upgrade it underneath, but me personally find that in my other house, it was really hard to like clean underneath there because there's a little lip. So I preferred the outside, the top mounted. Um, okay, there was an option to do a double sink here or to make a little leg area down here so you can sit in it like a vanity, but we didn't do that. So this is standard right here. Maybe I shouldn't turn it like that. Okay, this is standard here. The, that design, okay? The lighting, that is standard as well. What is upgraded in here is the cabinets because we upgraded cabinets in the kitchen. And when we upgraded cabinets in the kitchen, it upgrades the cabinets throughout the house. So that includes the bathrooms as well. Um, this floor is linoleum and it is standard. And I actually, I like the choice. But something that someone else mentioned was that linoleum, if you drop something on it, it chips and puts like holes in it really easily. And I did notice that I have a little bit of a, a hole near my garage door exiting the kitchen and that kind of bothers me. So that's kind of a bummer, but I like linoleum because it's easy to clean. I don't have to worry, like this is fake grout line right here. I don't have to worry about cleaning in between grout lines with tile. So yeah, I like it. Um, let's see, bathroom, there's nothing like upgraded in here at all. Okay, the doors, let's, let's talk about the doors though. We went with upgrading the doors to have this design and so I think it was like $250 or something like that to upgrade the doors throughout the whole house. And it just makes the house look a lot more updated, I guess, and interesting. You know, because the walls are white, we didn't up, like this white wall is standard wall. And it's, um, it has a little bit of sheen in the wet areas, like the bathroom, the kitchen, and the laundry room. But everywhere else, it is flat white. And I have marks all over it already, and it really bothers me. So we gotta get that covered ASAP. But when you upgrade the doors, it's the full house. So it's every single door, closet door, bathroom doors, bedroom doors, everything. Hi, mister. Um, this is standard carpet. I wanted to upgrade the carpet, but we had to cut money back because we were already going over budget a lot. 
And I'm not like mad about it. It's not super thick. It's pretty thin, but it looks nice. You know, it goes with a new house. It looks nice. So eventually soon we'll probably change it because our dogs are going to move in and our kids are crazy, but that's that. All right. This is our loft. We have a humongo loft. They had an option to do like a six, a sixth bedroom. So we would have five bedrooms upstairs and, um, and one downstairs, but we did the loft because my kids need a lot of space. So I thought that was nice. We have a laundry room. You get the same type of floor in here. Um, the shelf in here was standard. Let's see, can I get a light on here? All right, the shelf in there was standard and that's fine for me for now. You could do an upgrade of having like cupboards that go up there, but I didn't do that because again, it's just another thing to clean and I just need somewhere to hold my detergents. Here's a bedroom. Okay, that's standard, but you could do um, a hookup for a fan and you can add cam lights but on the, to the ceiling, but we didn't do that. We just went with the standard light. Um, sorry, my kids are being really loud. They get crazy whenever we come here. Um, the thing that's funny is that um, one bedroom has one, two, three, four, wait, four, five, five outlets. Like, holy smokes, why do you need that many outlets? And then it's a little funky because this is another walk-in closet. The master has two walk-in closets and they're different sizes. This bedroom has a walk-in closet. This is one of my kids' bedrooms. And then, da -da -da, my next bedroom has a walk-in closet. Uh, I guess it's the same size. It, I thought it was a little smaller. It just looks different because it's probably opposite. Okay, so there's a walk-in closet there. And then the next bedroom, oh my God, oh my God, look what they do, what the heck? Okay, and then the last bedroom has just a regular standard sliding door closet. It's not walk-in. Um, so yeah, not much to see in here. Just regular, regular. Here's the bathroom up here. Okay, so same thing. It's just standard options. Chrome, top mount, upgraded cabinets, and we could have extended this here. I'm gonna close that now. Sorry, I gotta close the nasty toilet. Um, we could have extended this here to make it a double, but we didn't want to do that because we figured more to clean. So here, I at least like that we'll be able to put like a laundry basket because the kids just throw off all their clothes, leave them on the ground and then hop in the shower. So if we have a laundry basket here, that'll be really helpful and it'll fill some of that space. So we have room for like a laundry basket or a caddy or something, you know. This is standard shower, the standard bathtub, standard shower head. And I actually like it, the tub bottom has like that textured material. So when you stand on it, you don't slip around. And so I really like that for the kids. I like how it has little um, lips here so that when they sit down, they can rest their arms and it's more comfy. Yeah, I just like it. It's a good size. Um, again, standard lighting, you got your fan, you got your turn off knob, you got the dimmer. So, yep. Okay. Do not, do not throw that in the house, boys. Okay, boys, get away from Bradley. Gosh, this is why I haven't been able to do a video, guys. My kids are with me 24 seven and they're loud and it's hard for me to do anything. So I apologize that it's taken so long, but it's been hectic with life. Was that an insult? It wasn't an insult. Can you please go upstairs while I finish this? You don't have to follow me. Bye. I said, get out of his room. Okay, so my kitchen is a mess, but. <laughs> Here's Nicolas Cage. Um, okay, so we upgraded the house to the nine foot ceilings and I'm so glad we did because it just makes it look bigger. Um, yeah, it just like opens up the house. I like it a lot. Um, 
So this would be like our living room. We have a den. We didn't do the doors on the den. Um, this would be like the flex room. And I don't, I think we had to pay for those two cam lights up there. I think that this room wasn't gonna have anything there. So we did have to pay for that. Let me look over here. Uh, yeah, I think we added a can there too. And I think maybe we added can lights there. I think we had to add those. They came in the kitchen with the kitchen. You could upgrade it by doing something hanging, but to be completely honest, it, since we're kind of doing like an open concept thing anyways, I like the way it looks without something dangling down. It puts more of the focus like zoom to the center and not like up here. So yeah, I like it. I like that. Um, all right. So yes, here's the flex, it's called a flex room, but I guess it'd be like your dining room. Um, you have this much space or we have this much space. I was expecting the, um, the wet area of the entryway to be smaller because the picture looks small, but it's a good amount of space. It's like, bump, 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 bump. So that's good. I like that. You have room for a map and room for something here. And then, yeah, we, we, I mean, we have a ton of space there, but that's our plan. <sighs> Another bathroom, not really much to show you. It's just your small bathroom, your closet. And then the last bedroom here. bed smells and then it has just this is like your in-law room so it's kind of small your in-law or your guest bedroom it's downstairs right next to the bathroom coat closet um so yeah all right we'll finish it up in the kitchen because we did nine foot ceilings we upgraded the 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 length of the cabinets so that they're longer. Um, the standard cabinets are like, I don't know, three quarters of that. So we just extended it up so that it would reach as tall as, or not as tall as, but so that they would be this tall so that we didn't have a huge gap between the ceiling and the cabinets. And I really like the way that looks. I mean, they would be about this size compared to the long so i like the different in the the difference in the height um so here's the floor you can see it in kind of a better light it's i like it it looks good we upgraded the cabinets we didn't go with the most expensive upgrade which would have included um hardware for the drawers and the um, cabinet doors but um we saved some money going with these ones and they are, because they weren't the most expensive one, they are a little bit cheaper made, but then I kind of have to wonder, okay, well, what would the, the standard ones look like? So I'm glad we upgraded these, but um, yeah, I, I mean, I don't wish that we would have gone with the expensive ones. I wish that these would have been how the other ones looked. I believe that, this was standard or maybe we had to upgrade to do the chrome i don't remember on that one i'll have to ask my husband but yes so it came with the microwave the oven and the dishwasher and maybe black and white were standard and then we upgraded to um stainless steel maybe that's what we did so i guess that would be an upgrade what else? Okay, the countertop is not standard. We did upgrade this. Um, I think it might have been like the white that's in the bathroom if we would have went with regular. At one point, someone said that it might be the subway tile, so it would just be like white. Yeah, that's what it was. Okay, if we wouldn't have upgraded this, and this is like not the most expensive, you can choose between like the thicker edges that like round which we wanted to do, but we had to save money. So we just went with this one. Um, 
So if you have little kids that are running around, I would definitely say like invest in the round ones, the round edges, which were a few, like a couple thousand dollars more, but um, we just went with this and our kids are a little taller except our little one, our smallest one. So, but he'll be tall enough soon. So I hopefully I don't have to worry about them. Um, but it is what it is. We upgraded this. So it would have been chrome, but we upgraded to the, what's it called? Brushed nickel color. Um, okay. My disposal does not work. So I was doing dishes and I put a bunch of food down there and then I went to turn on the disposal and it does not work. So my sink is disgusting. I'm sorry. They are coming to fix it tomorrow, but I upgraded to the bigger sink. It's like deep. So it'll be nice to have, um, you know, my kids just throw all their dishes in here. So it'll be nice to have like a catch all for them. And I don't like soak. I just uh, scrub really hard. So having space to scrub will be nice. Um, okay. And like I said, I mean, I didn't do many upgrades. Uh, so if you are like, what the heck? That's it. That's all we upgraded. We upgraded the doors. We put some additional can lighting in so we didn't have to worry about it being dark or putting lamps up places. Um, and they're cool because they come, do they? Yeah, I think the can lighting, they have um, dimmer switches. There's dimmer switches all over the place. So that's kind of cool. Uh, I do apologize for my messy house, but we're moving in so we don't have trash cans. And right now we are like not completely moved in. So we just throw things in out of our car and then go back to our other house. So it is a mess. Um, what else did I want to say? Uh, oh man, okay. We wish we would have done the blinds. It would have been $2,000 to get shutters or maybe not shutters. I think my husband said not shutters, but blinds, window coverings on all of the windows. It would have been $2,000 for like these wooden blind thingies. They have an option for shutters too, obviously gonna to be more expensive, but for blinds throughout the house, it would have been $2,000 to cover all of the windows. We decided that was one place to save money and we did not do that. And now we're getting shutters downstairs and blinds upstairs and we got quoted at about um about three thousand dollars maybe a little bit more a little over three thousand dollars so if you have the extra money i would just get the window coverings because we can see our neighbor's shutters they haven't even moved in yet but i'm just like oh we have a house that is completely open and anyone can see inside of our house and the blinds right now because i guess of coronavirus setbacks in production and delivery it's going to take us eight weeks to get our shutters so we had the guy come this past weekend and we have to wait eight weeks before anything is on our windows so guys two thousand dollars to cover your windows just add it on and do it take care of it then because that's a good price um i don't know if you can see that's my neighbor's house Aww. they have the shutters and they look decent. I mean, they don't look horrible from outside. They obviously look better than mine. That doesn't have, that, you know, my window doesn't have anything on it. Um, but yeah. All right. So I think that's it. Oh, you know what I don't like? Okay. I guess just in this area, this type of fence is like typical. This small slat fence. Um, but in where in my city where I come from I'm used to like the the thicker boards that have the the baseboard at the bottom that they sit in and then they hug on top with another board that holds it in these fences are like kind of cheap and I just know my dog like you can see through them so when we have neighbors behind us we can see each other when we sit down there's no privacy whatsoever and my dog is going to tear that fence apart like that so i don't like that but that what can you do we didn't have an option that's the fence i'm working on my backyard the backyard doesn't come with anything oh here's okay let me open this up 
so this is standard here. Let me move that. This little piece of uh, concrete, this little slab right here, this is all I have back here. And then the rest is dirt, 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 dirt. Oh my goodness. There's so much dirt, so much to be done. But you can get that, I believe, doubled maybe to cover the other side to extend the sliding door. But it was really expensive. I mean, putting in concrete is expensive. So we just did this and decided, well, we'll have to figure out our landscaping around this. But yeah, that's all for now. Oh, we did get this cute little thing here. It's fancy because one, we're coming from someplace that doesn't have air conditioning. And so, and then having this that connects to your phone so you can like turn it on and off wherever you are. Pretty cool. Yes. There are lots of workers working around the area because we were the first house that got started on the street. So the houses around us are slowly going up. And so there's a lot of people around. And then I know that eventually they'll be working on houses behind us and that's going to be busy. But as far as noise goes, I can't say it's like super loud here. Maybe because my kids are so loud, I can't, I don't notice anything else, but yeah, I don't think they're going to let me tape any longer. So I'm going to say goodbye. I hope this was helpful. Um, and then another, I'll try to update do a video update on like my experience, my whole experience with KB and the build process and if I would recommend them or not. That'll be my next video. All right. So good luck on your KB home and yeah. stay safe.